So another day, another walk. Uh, this time I've just dropped my car off actually to get its MOT in service. And I thought the forecast was to, for it to be a nice day, but she is drizzling. But it is going to clear up apparently. And be nice sunny and warm later on. So I'm just uh, walking along this path from Acton in Suffolk, heading towards the lovely village of Long Melford. So let's hope we have a nice walk and see some interesting things today. Oh, the rain has really started to come on heavy at the minute. That's not pleasant. So I'll just hang out here under the trees for a bit. Well, the, those uh, rain clouds seem to have blown away. It's definitely getting a lot brighter. And a bit warmer, actually. So we're back out into the open fields again. And you can hear the busy road. That's the main road that runs between Bury St Edmunds and Sunbury. So we're going to cross that and go into the village of Long Melford. Look what I see coming in. Yeah, blue sky, just as forecast. And you can just see the tops of some of the highs over there in Long Melford. Still near that busy road. So it'll get quiet in a minute. goats in here. I think they're goats. <laughs> Farmer George here reporting. Gosh, it's very windy. Here we are in Long Melford. Oh, beautiful doves. Long Melford Cathedral. It certainly looks like a cathedral. And this is an old Tudor hospital, I think.
take back what I said earlier. I think this is a breed of sheep. Certainly the brown ones are, but I don't think they I don't think they are goats. <laughs> I sound really stupid now. I've never seen a breed like that before. So this is the Lady Chapel, um, which is connected to the, the main church in Long Melford. That's interesting, that's part of the curtain that hung at, in Westminster Abbey for the coronation of the Queen in 52. So peaceful in here, these places are always so peaceful. The architecture is extraordinary, you know, for a little, a little village to have such extraordinary architecture. It's incredible. Melford Hall in Long Melford. Beautiful ice. I've been in here before actually a few years ago. It is very nice inside. I haven't really had time today to go around. And uh, the weather's much nicer I think than the last time I was here. I didn't have time to go around the gardens. So at least today Apparently there's nice views of Long Melford from further up in the garden, so I'm going to do that a bit later. There's Mellers digging away over there. Look at these cute things. I say things because I have no idea what they are. They're obviously some sort of sheep. A rare breed, perhaps. And shading from the... So you can hardly see them in the shadows. a drawing or a map which was created in 1613 then, and there's where we are on the on the old drawing and there's the view it's the top of a little hill really which is why I'm bleeding well out of breath it doesn't take much these days so there's Long Melford and there's the church so apologies if you can't hear anything or very little.
So we've just left Long Melford behind and now we're heading back to Acton to do a circular route. Just got the phone call to say my car is ready for collection. So I'm on my way back. So that was an unexpected little interlude to the walk. I didn't think I'd be hearing a rock choir in an old um, village, Suffolk village church. So that was pretty amazing. Made a nice place actually to sit down and cool off for a bit. So now we're on the outward, homeward bound journey. It's a beautiful day, a bit of a breeze, but very pleasant. This is very pretty. Long Melford is now way in the distance. And we're on this, what looks like just a disused road because it, it doesn't actually go anywhere. It, um, it goes down as far, it looks like it used to join the main Bury St Edmunds to Sudbury Road, but it just comes to a dead end now. So, there's no traffic on it at all, which is very nice obviously because it's quiet. And I think away in the distance, is that perhaps Lavenham, the top of Lavenham Church? way in the distance. I think it might be from the skyline there. Oh this is quite nice now. It's uh, five to three so the garage closes at four. So I think I've got plenty of time. I'm not that far away. 